and welcome back to the channel if you are new here I'm Kaz and welcome to my video now today I'm going to go through the last mm, three and a half months of uh, skincare empties and cleansing empties and I'm going to throw in there the last months of or oh, last month should we say of uh, what I've been using in the shower so if you want to know what products etc etc carry on watching and whether I like them or not, of course. And will I rebuy them, of course? Mm-hmm. So carry on watching. Right. Oh. Intros, eh? Um, where should we start? Cleansing. Well, cleansing my brushes. I love this. It's the Real Techniques uh, brush cleansing gel. I, I love it. I absolutely love it. It makes the brushes smell nice. There's no residue on there. Um, yeah, I have gone through this. It's the last three months. I would say it was like uh, March, April and May. I love it. Brilliant. Get your brushes clean. Now, for the face, the face I have been using in the last few months, um, the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Deep and Dive gel. This is a gel, isn't it? Yeah, gel. <laughs> I've only been using it a while. And the Super Facialist Rose Hydrate Miracle Remover Makeup Remover Facial Oil. <sighs> now, out of the two. This one wins. I thought I'd like me tart. I love me tart. It's all right, but I tend to then have to go in again with this to get rid of it. Because uh, this was like number two and this was number one. I used it all. I like it. Uh, would I buy it? No, it's probably a little bit too expensive. All the I got, one, I got this in one of my old beauty boxes. Um, and I love it. I don't know how much it is actually, I should really look, but it's super facialist oil and it's brilliant. It goes on, it's not really thick, it just takes all the, well let's put it this way. You put it on, whoops, uh, you put it on, rub it in, I even do them around my eyes but not into my eyes obviously, around this area of the eye, not inside, and I rub it in and I think, oh that's nice, and then I look in the mirror and go, oh, and it's just mixed the whole together it looks like a slimy mess get a nice warm not hot warm cloth and wipe it off and then go in with me toner and i love it absolutely love it there we go oh 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 now for an oil at night time i like putting an oil on because it tends to keep the oils at bay during the day because it hydrates your skin i don't know if my skincare one is up at the moment if it isn't Watch out for it because you'll see what I've swapped for toners and cleansers and things. But anyway, this is the Vinci, Vichy, V-I-C-H-Y, Vichy, Vichy. I always say Vinci, I put an N in it for some reason. But this is the Elixir Oil and it's really good. I am actually trying the Body Shop one at the minute and that's really good. So it's going to be hard to find my favourite. But I really, really do like this. I love it a lot. Would I buy it? I've got loads at the moment. I'm going through loads and I keep finding all different ones. So possibly. Now, one of my favourites. Meltdown Makeup Remover by Urban Decay. This is a baby size because that's what I started with. And I'm halfway through the big size. Uh, love it. Um, I cleanse with the oils or the balms or whatever I'm using at the moment and then I spray this on first and it, it helps it go away or I spray it on afterwards and then just use um, a wet cloth again to wipe it off. Lovely, will buy, have bought and nearly ran out of the big one. <laughs> so yes, I would buy that. Now then, quickly... Oh, they're all falling over. Quickly, I'm going to shower. Now, before I went cruelty free, um, around six weeks ago, completely, um, I was using my Avon shower gels. Um, I was using, you know, I can't think, it's gone straight out of my head. Doesn't matter anyway, because they're not cruelty free. 
And I went into body shop and thought, well, there you are, I'm going to try it. So, I first started off with a little tiny one, which was the British Rose Shower Gel. Don't like the smell of the rose. So I won't be buying that one again. But the shower gel was really good. And to be honest, better than the Avon one. I can say that. Yes, it was. Um, and so I went in and got the mango. Now the mango again smelt. Oh, I'm going to have to smell it. You know I like smelling products. Oh, mango is absolutely fantastic. Uh, even he's done this. Tom's on this as well. So um, absolutely fantastic. Everything's falling down again. Everything, it's absolutely fantastic. And we've gone and bought now the Satsuma one. Uh, a little bit bigger and, ah, oh, love the shower gel. Now, I you have also used this Strawberry Softening Body Polish. There we are. I got it for Christmas um, and it's been sat in the cupboard, so I thought I'd better use it. <laughs> Brilliant. It's got the seeds in that stick all over your white bath. It looks like your bath's got measles with black measles on it. The place, but I do like it, and it's a good scrub. I don't like the strawberry smell, so I, I'm hoping they've got a different flavour. But again, British Rose Exfoliating Gel Body Scrub. This one is great. Now I don't mind the rose smell; it's strawberries. Um, I don't know because mm, mm, this smells slightly stronger than this, so I could put up with this. But I'm hoping they have a different stink of this um but it's a really good scrub up up the back of my legs down the back side of my arms my bottom where i get like little rough bits and it's not rough bits it's like i don't know what you call it dry skin bubbles it gets them off and i love it so yes i want a different stinky poo though now on to the skincare we're not going to be long because it's only the last few months with the um in a little pack i got the tart cleansing gel and then i got the drink of h2o yeah drink of h2o sample of the day cream and the maracuja sea bright e treatment the h2o is good for hydration but so is a serum i'd rather use a serum but for lifting your face and keeping it, you know, you know, getting over, over 40 now, you see. So I've got to keep everything lifted. Didn't really do that. But it was only a sample pot. But for hydration, it is fantastic. Will I buy again? No, I'm afraid not. Because I need the lift. Um, but the Maracuja C Brightener Eye Treatment is really good for brightening those dark circles. Because you never get any sleep. <sighs> But it is really, really good under there. But for lifting my hooded eyes, lift. I need pegs up there. Ding, ding. Lifting those, it doesn't really do that, I'm afraid. So I won't be buying it again. But for brightening and a nice eye cream for someone maybe 20 years younger, yes. So depends what age you are. Now, so I walked into Body Shop and I have tried their Vitamin E Day and Night Cream. Now, vitamin E is good for getting rid of those, <coughs> excuse me, fine lines, slight wrinkles. It's a good cream. It's a lovely, light, soft, lovely cream for a daytime. Nighttime, this one for nighttime, I want something that's going to and work. When I put a skincare on, I want it to whoop work i can feel it tingling i like it to work it didn't do that but for a light cream if you're not bothered um about your wrinkles yet or you just want to you've never used an, an anti-aging cream before these are good to start with so i wouldn't buy personally but they are really good now to go with that i got oils of life eye cream i don't like this one the eye cream i, I painstakingly went through it all but the eye cream during the day, if I don't put much makeup on, which isn't very often, but if I don't put much makeup on on a particular day, it seems to seep in my eyes and then it makes my eyes water. And I have watery eyes anyway, so it's like, no. So for night time, I tried it and it made my eyes water. In the morning, I had like your little, I don't know what you call it, sleepy eye bits. So not for me. It's not for me at all. Makes my dry eye, watery eye or whatever you call it worse so no but saying that i tried the drops of youth 
eye cream. Now it's a weird ball that you push down and ruler it, ruler it round your eyes. And I suppose that's to stop you pushing, but I always tap under my eyes anyway. But it's a good thing. I wish it came in a tub because I know not to push on my eyes. So this ruler eye thing is to cool it off. It's nice and cold now. Nice and cold. But it's a good cream. I might see if they've got any other creams um, and see what they're like. But that one is good. Um, now, Oils of Youth, did it lift? No. So it didn't seem to make it I don't know when I use a cream it seems to keep my eyes up so when I'm looking straight ahead you can see some of my lid this didn't make it droop <laughs> it wasn't droopy like the rest of me but um it it, it it worked better than the watery one so let's put it that way so will I buy it again no but I'll probably see if they've got anything for lift that's what I want lift and last but no means least, and this did do the lift, and it did stop the creasy bits here. You know when you, you've got your boobs up, and you get like the crow's feet? I hate creams that end, end up me having that. I, I mean, obviously I'm going to have a bit, but I hate it when you can actually see it. And you've got your uplifter on, and all you've got is like 17 lines coming from your crack. That sound awful, but you know what I mean. Um, but this didn't. This is great. Drops of Youth Cream. Now, I don't know if it's day or night. I cannot remember. And a tiny little right, and I'm never going to see it, even with my glasses on. <laughs> but it is brilliant, and it smells divine. Mmm, and it smells divine. So, yeah, Drops of Youth Day and Night Cream. Night Cream Cream is brilliant. And I used it, obviously, from Enupolis all the way up and i absolutely love it fantastic now to add to all that i cannot show you a serum because um i'm on with the new stuff which i did i think i filmed that a couple of weeks ago i don't know if it's up or not i don't think it is so it will be up soon um so i'm working through that but all my other serums were avon ones and cordelie ones and everything else and of course when i decluttered off they went and there was a few and Cordelie ones expensive so I finished that off first so I have been finishing off that sort of thing because skincare is expensive you can't just lob it out even ones I did but I can't just like throw them out when it was 50 quid a pot so that's why I haven't got any serums much here um but in my next one I'm sure you'll find out what I've been using and whether I like them or not so I hope you enjoyed this video and I shall see you in my next one. Like and subscribe. That would be beautiful. Thank you very much. See you in my next one. Bye.